recently discovered Australian news. If you guys never tuned in to some Australian news, gets a little strange down under. I can't even describe it. I'm going to let them tell it to you. Second. You're out on a Saturday night. Oh. You're on the town. You're having a boogie with your friends on the D floor. Mm -hmm. Suddenly a good-looking girl or a good-looking lad just catches your eye. You're kind of interested. So you try and catch their eye. It's old-school stuff. But with a, in a flash, you're being shown the door, kicked out by the bouncer for non-consensual staring. Well, that is exactly what party goes. And Sydney could soon be contending with the Daily... You guys heard it right. They're about to make it so you can't go to the club and look at anybody. But let them continue. Telegraph is reporting a Darlinghurst nightclub is banned staring without verbal consent. And Dane Goral, who owns the club, he joins us live. Dane, my friend. Don't I look mean, at him. Don't, don't. see how he's going to explain himself. <laughs> I mean, dating's kind of already hard enough. Have you just made it impossible? <laughs> Not really, no. Like, realistically, we've just implemented a, uh, a new safety and harassment policy um, into the club. We've done a lot of research on this over the past, you know, few months, especially over COVID. And we've just sort what of taken a, um, a direction. Or not even taken a direction. We just want anyone that comes into our venue to feel safe the entire time they're in the venue. By their name. To everybody that's watching this, when people start talking about research, and they did studies, but they not willing to give you any statistics or give you really any real information about the study or the statistics, they full of it. You look in his face and say, you don't believe what he's saying. But let's, let's give him a listen. Um, nightclubs, uh, you know, they're, they're a kind of a happy hunting ground uh, for some. Oh, yeah, please, they are. Look I mean, at you get people. together, have a passion, then go home. Um, but, but, you know, that's the In kind the of... the 80s, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's not, well, didn't you do that? No. <laughs> so so what's, the, what's the line in the sand there, big fella? I mean, uh, obviously some guys get creepy, but, but what's the line in the sand generally? Anything that is done without consent, that's the line in the sand. So basically, we're, if it's not consensual, then obviously we're going to have a talk with the perpetrator, whoever is. How can you consensually look at somebody? This is getting really weird. And... You don't know if somebody's looking at you unless you looking at them. So wouldn't security have to choose sides? Let him explain. Involved and, um, ...and make sure that the person that's feeling uncomfortable or has any unwanted attention is taken care of. Okay, so, so someone's across the club mm. and someone's... So, so you walk over to them and say, do you mind if I stare at you? Exactly. And then you go back to your table and then that's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, yes. It's, 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 uh, it, look, realistically, the way that we're sort of taking a uh, look at... Look at his body language. Check his body language. He nervous. It don't make no sense. Is there any unwanted attention is yeah. considered harassment. Uh, anything without consent is harassment. Um, you know, where do you, at the end of the day, my job as licensee and owner of the venue is to make sure that everyone yeah. comes in the venue, feels safe, feels safe the entire time they're in there and um, enjoys himself. We're a music-focused venue and a cultural-focused venue. You know, we're not... If someone looking at you, not touching you or approaching you, it's just a regular scan of room in the club, that's making you uncomfortable enough to where you need security. If I was you, I wouldn't want that person in my club. They're a threat to themselves and everyone around them. They're paranoid. What are they hiding? Let's continue. A club where people come to pick up. We're very focused okay. on music and culture. Um, and this is this sort of <laughs> behavior in a club of you know, being able to feel safe dates back realistically to when nightclubs first started and 
and we're first, you know, mm. taking off. Um, you know, that's just how it is. So. It's a brave new world. I, I get it. Um, I guess um, if someone, so someone's sort of staring at someone, you can have that that person removed if it's if you feel uncomfortable, mm. which is which probably makes, yeah, which, which, makes which sense does make sense. Yeah, yeah. There are some people like Ali uh, who go to venues and they want to be stared upon <laughs> um, to feel good about themselves. Uh, is, what do you do about that situation? <laughs> Oh, man, I'm so uh, sad. Unfortunately, I'm I don't know if that's true. It doesn't seem like it's true. But, um, anyway, uh, I'm thinking day, about it. That's <laughs> not yeah. it. She goes past work sites. Just to get whistled at. Get <laughs> just want some attention. <laughs> yeah, look, at the end of the day, anything that's un unwanted or anything that's not consensual mm. is, is just not on anymore. I um, understand. You know, we've, we've worked very hard on developing this policy and implementing it. Um, and it's something that we're, we hold very close to our values of the club. Mm. Um, and we just want to take care of people at the end of the day. I love it. Um, yeah, and, and look, I mean, Dan, we're having a laugh about it, right? Just that idea of, you know, not being able to look at each other across the club. But I think, you know, what is behind it it's and good. how many women do go to clubs and don't feel sort of safe, I think it's brilliant. Well done, mate. And just on a scale of 1 to 10, how late was your... That's telling. That's telling. He's supposedly enacting this. So women can feel more safe, and the woman that he is being interviewed by about this topic is laughing in his face because it's so ridiculous. And I think that's part of the reason why he's sitting there looking as uncomfortable as he looks. This is some of the stupidest stuff I ever heard. I think you guys got the gist. There's no need to go any further. Please like and subscribe. Video might be a little choppy, might be a little iffy. This the first one. Plan on getting better. So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.